Hey everyone, this is week one in review. A whirlwind of a week it has been when you're on the road it's like every day is a new adventure and that has been the case on this trip it was on day two that I managed to wreck my camper more on that later but I successfully made it to Denver we had a great event and so far things have run relatively smoothly the day we left we got to do a lot of fun things that we really enjoyed doing like going to Zilker Park meeting a lot of dogs uh, going to Cabo Bombs, eating a giant burrito, and saying goodbye to my two favorite girls, who sadly were leaving behind in Austin. Ziva and Michelle. <laughs> we left relatively late in the day. We got into Lubbock at about 2 a.m. And what was really nice was being able to pull over on the side of the road and walk back to the back of the truck to a bed that's already made. Now that was a wonderful way to take a pit stop. In the morning we woke up and we headed to a coffee shop to get a little bit of work done before we hit the road again. And we did exactly that. It was one of those times where I was starting to think about how fortunate I was to have everything going so well and realizing that on this trip I had everything put together so well. Everything was running very smoothly and I had a lot of things to be excited for. As I was leaving the coffee shop, I had one of two ways that I could have exited. One was kind of a rickety alleyway that had potholes galore. The other was to cut through the parking lot out to the main road. I elected to cut through the parking lot, not realizing that I'm a lot taller than I normally am. And if you can believe it, I struck the awning of the building and punctured a huge hole in the fiberglass of my camper. It was a disaster. When I went and looked inside of my camper, one of the boards had actually come through and was still sticking inside the camper. It had pushed through the fiberglass and knocked down the entire ceiling and the inside was just full of dust and debris. It was, it was a tragedy. Uh, I felt like a big bonehead, very embarrassed, uh, really nothing, uh, no, no positive feelings, especially after I was just feeling so great about the direction for the trip. I headed to the nearest Home Depot and duct taped it up. After I duct taped it up, I decided to start making some phone calls to cities in advance along the way that I might be able to get the repair done. My first quote was $3,000, my second quote was $6,000. And uh, instantly, I felt a little bit overwhelmed at the possibilities. But, as they say, the show must go on. When I got to Denver, I was fortunate enough to have a buddy to stay with, so I didn't have to sleep in a debris-covered cabin. Another great thing about this friend is that he had a garage full of tools that were perfect for fixing it up just well enough so that this trip could continue. Uh, first things first, we made our way to Ace Hardware and picked up the necessary materials. Buddy and I were able to patch the entire thing well enough for 50 bucks. And here's how we did it. know what y'all are thinking. What about Sid? Well, Sid was having a pretty good time. He was hanging with his new friends Oakley, the Mini Aussie, and Crash, the Standard Poodle. They were a wonderfully goofy pack, that's for sure. 
While the damage to the camper was a pretty major inconvenience, what made matters worse is that I spent the next two days repairing it. You gotta do what you gotta do. On Friday night, we were able to get the hole patched, painted, and the interior put back up, just in time for the event on Saturday. The Zilker Barking event in Denver was a huge success. Not only did we sell out 72 spots, but we also had 10 walk-ins, and we raised another $350 through the raffle items that we had from Yeti. We photographed a little over 80 dogs that day, raising close to $3,000 in just two hours. All of the dogs had a great time, wonderful models, the photos turned out great, I couldn't ask for a better experience. Overall, this trip to Denver was so well worth it. And you know, even though the camper had a little mishap, it's the, the ebbs and flows of the universe, and whatever negativity there is, there's always gonna be a balance of the positive. And I think the most important lesson to learn from these types of situations is that there's always going to be this chaos in the universe that we don't have any control over. It's how we react to it, and the calmness that we're able to maintain during those stressful situations, that really allows us to grow as people. So while the camper situation did suck, it's something I'm hoping I can look back on and laugh about a year from now. Moving forward, we have an event coming up in Durango that's going to be at the Ska Brewery, and I'm excited about this one for two reasons. One, I've never been to Durango and I've heard good things. And two, I really like beer, so I'm excited that it's at a brewery. <laughs> After that, we're gonna be passing through Las Vegas and then making our way down to San Diego. I'm um, also really looking forward to San Diego because I've never been there. And I've also heard that they've got a pretty cute dog population. So uh, stay tuned. We've got a whole lot more cities to be visiting. So if there's one along the way, please do let us know because we'd love to meet up with you. We'd love to meet as many dogs as we possibly can. We'd love it if people came out to these events to support our mission. Uh, but overall, we just, we just wanna meet a bunch of dogs, okay? <laughs> Uh, anyway, thanks a lot for watching you guys. Ciao for now.